The race for Albuquerque mayor now includes more than just Mayor Tim Keller and Sheriff Manny Gonzalez. Today we caught up with the newest candidate to see what he believes his chances are of winning. Oh, have you? There's a new name or voice in the race for Albuquerque mayor. We'll check our weather and traffic on our way out. It's this man, conservative talk show host Eddie Aragon. And uh, I just want to live in a better place. And when there wasn't anybody there that was uh, speaking up for the conservatives and the Republicans and the independents out there, that's when I immediately jumped on board. So what does this mean for Sheriff Manny Gonzalez and Mayor Tim Keller, those who have been attacking each other for months? Well, on the one hand, this is good news for Tim Keller because two more conservative candidates will now split the anti-Keller vote. City elections are nonpartisan, meaning anyone can run if they get enough signatures. To win, you have to get 50% of the vote. If not, the top two vote getters go through another election called a runoff. Having three candidates in the race might increase the likelihood of a runoff election being forced. Oh, Aragon mean, was I able to get enough idea, signatures so, using his I'm talk show a as a platform to get people to go to a website yeah, and sign an online petition. He contends that he is not the, quote, third candidate. As far as I'm concerned, I'm not taking any votes away from Manny. Aragon says he is an 11th generation New Mexican and grew up in Albuquerque like Gonzalez and Keller. One interesting fact, Keller and Aragon were at St. Pius High School at the same time. Aragon said he didn't know the future mayor. Well, I'm very passionate about people, and that gives me purpose every single day on my radio show and what I do. Aragon did not apply to receive public financing for his campaign. He says soon he's going to launch a fundraising effort to make it privately funded.